Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sapnuski. Thank you so much for popping by my channel. Please know that this is not financial advice. I am only here to entertain you and to remind you to buy on red candles. And speaking of red candles, mm -hmm, take a peek at the Bitcoin chart. You could pick up an entire Bitcoin right now for $18,848. Now, considering at the all-time high, Bitcoin reached almost $70,000. You can get it on sale right now for $18,848. That is an amazing difference. Earlier this week, let's put up the one-week chart. In one week, it went from $22,500 to $18,852. That's a $4,000 difference in just one week. The potential of Bitcoin is absolutely amazing, especially if you consider the fact that a lot of people, a lot of intelligent people are speculating that Bitcoin by the year 2030 could be over a million dollar coin. People like Michael Saylor, Kathy Wood, who is the CEO of ARK Invest. This woman is a very intelligent investor. She saw the potential of Tesla, uh, Netflix, and Zoom way before everybody else. And she believes that Bitcoin by the year 2030 is going to be valued at $1.3 million. So imagine that if we have the potential of Bitcoin being worth a million dollars in that time span, what is it that you could start doing for yourself today to take advantage of a $1 million Bitcoin? We all have the option of purchasing fractional shares of Bitcoin on any exchange. Coinbase, Crypto.com, Webull, Bitmart, whatever exchange that you're on, they're selling Bitcoin. This is a great opportunity to get into Bitcoin or Ethereum. Either one of these is a great investment, especially over the long term. If you can trust yourself to use cryptocurrency like a piggy bank, putting money in but not taking out, you could become independently wealthy in a decade. Now, this is just speculation. I, I can't say this for sure, for definite, but I do believe in the technology of blockchain because I believe it's the future. I believe cryptocurrency is going to be the financial future of our country and our world. It's all going, it's all going blockchain. So this is what we can do to take advantage of that. If you've not already set up an account on an exchange like crypto.com or Coinbase, start buying fractional shares of Bitcoin. Every single week, whatever it is that you can afford. Now, when I say things like can afford, there's people that say, you know what, I can't, I can't afford, I can't afford to buy Bitcoin. I, I can't afford it. But meanwhile, these same people seem to be able to afford to go to Starbucks or they're going out to lunch or dinner, or they're going out to the bars, running up these huge tabs, whatever disposable income that you have for those types of things, you should consider, okay, maybe, you know what, maybe instead of going to Starbucks twice a day, I can go once a day and the money that I save there, I can put towards Bitcoin or I can put towards Ethereum. Pay that to yourself. Consider yourself a bill. Just like you make a car payment or a mortgage payment, insurance, there should be a bill that you pay to yourself every single week or month, whatever it is that you can afford, and try to only buy on the red candle days when you're getting the absolute best price. I'll never understand the people that buy on green candles. Look what happened with Luna Classic. That thing pumped. And people FOMO'd in and they were buying when the, the token was already up like two, 300%. They were jumping in there. Silly. Where is it now? Of course, it's way back down now. If you FOMO'd in, chances are that you've lost money. But if you're buying into Bitcoin at these low, low prices, you are only going to be a winner in the long run. So I want you to sit down and think, what is it that I can afford to buy 
and start paying yourself that amount every single week or month like a bill. You have to pay it to yourself, whatever it is that you can afford. If you can only do 50 bucks a week, that's fine. Find a day where Bitcoin is on a red day and that's when you buy it. Only on red candle days, not the green candle days. Get as much Bitcoin as you possibly can for your money. Over time, that's going to start to add up. Now, obviously, if you can afford more, let's say, you know, maybe you've got some extra money and you can actually afford to buy $100 worth of Bitcoin a week. The potential of starting right now, right here, right now, there's 52 weeks in a year. If you can buy 100 bucks every single week, that's $5,200. How much Bitcoin would you be able to scoop up with that? That's like a third of a Bitcoin at this point. If, well, you know, that's if you buy it right now, that whole 5,200. But if you're only able to start buying at, let's even just say a minimum of 10 bucks a week, 20 bucks a week, 25 bucks a week, that's like $1,300 in a year. I'm sure you can swing it. In a couple of years, if the price of Bitcoin does continue to go up and up and up, and it does reach over a million dollars by the year 2030, what will your Bitcoin look like? Will you have a whole Bitcoin? Will you have a fractional share of a Bitcoin? What would it be worth? This is what you need to start putting money into. Forget about going out to eat, going to the movies, buying new purses, doing all these extravagant things. How about instead of going on vacation where you know vacations are going to cost you a couple of G's, do a staycation, stay at home, put all of that money into cryptocurrency, either Bitcoin or Ethereum. Over the long run, you are going to thank me. You're going to thank me. I know you think you maybe won't thank me. Maybe you're new to cryptocurrency and you don't understand the potential of this investment. But I believe in Bitcoin. I believe in Ethereum. I believe in these other projects that have great long-term potential. And I'm investing into them little by little. You don't have to do it all at once. You know, a lot of people don't understand that, you know, just because Bitcoin's saying it's 18,000, you don't have to buy a whole Bitcoin. Just buy what you absolutely can afford. And you would be amazed how much of it you can actually afford if you just cut out some of these things that they're really not necessities. They're extravagances that you don't really need. You don't have to go to Bitcoin, uh, excuse me, you don't have to go to Starbucks a couple of times a day. You don't have to go out to eat for lunch. Brown bag it. How much money could you save to buy Bitcoin if you just brown bagged your lunch every single day? What are you paying at your fast food restaurant or the deli around the corner? Put that money towards Bitcoin. Whatever it is that you can afford to get, that's what you should get. Because if you go all in, especially at these low prices, that is going to grow exponentially over the next seven to eight years. Because I, like Kathy Wood, I too believe that Bitcoin has the potential of being valued at over a million dollars by the year 2030. And what is that going to look like? How could that money change your life? Would you be able to pay off your house? Would you be able to retire early, pay off your student debt, buy your mom's house for her? Whatever it is that your dream is, you have the potential of making that happen if you're serious right now. If you can afford to buy more than 25 bucks a week, then you should do that. We're very early in this cryptocurrency game and we should take advantage of it. The more that you can buy at these low, low prices, this is the time to do it. This is really a once in a lifetime opportunity because as you know, not that many people are in cryptocurrency right now. We're, we're very early, but the more years that come over the next few years, there's going to be a lot more people flooding into the cryptocurrency market every day. More and more people are getting in. So this is your advantage to take, this is your chance to take advantage of these low prices here in the market. So remember, pay yourself 
like a bill, because in the long run, you are your best investment. And that's going to do it here for me today. I thank you so much for joining me and I will catch you next time. Take care.